Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The IIT Encoder. This is the editorial of the third question of Code Fusion 20.9, the current ongoing contest which has just ended on Code Chef. So in this question, the question is pretty straightforward. We just need to do what is given. So we need to find the number of phase to reach n comma m from 0 comma 0 without passing through x or y. So this question can be easily solved using permutation and combination and inclusion and exclusion. So I will explain to you what is needed. So suppose this, there is a grid of 4 cross 4. We need to uh, from we need to be 0 comma 0 to 4 comma 4. Okay. So the shortest path would have only 8 steps. Each step will be either a right or an up. So there will be 4 rights and 4 up. So in how many ways can you order 8, uh, eight items in which 4 are identical and 4 are identical. Clearly it is 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial 4 factorial. Generalizing this formula, the number of phase to reach from a point x comma y or uh, x1 comma y1 to x2 comma y2 will be equal to x2 minus x2 plus y2 minus x1 plus y1. This is these are the total number of steps that are required. In this, I am assuming that x2 comma y2 is to the right or to the up of x2 x1 comma y1 divided by x2 minus x1 factorial, the number of steps which are only right. I'm sorry, I clicked here. And y2 minus y1 factorial. Okay. So now, now this question is pretty simple, right? So the total we will use the principle of inclusion and exclusion. So that means the total number of ways in which we can reach from 0, 0 to n comma n without passing through x1, y1, let us name that point as x and y, uh, x2, y2, let us name that point as y is equal to, so the answer is equal to the total number of ways to reach n common without any constraints minus reach x then reach n common minus reach y then reach n common plus reach x then reach y then reach n comma m so as you can see this value is basically n plus m factorial sorry for the writing n factorial divided by m factorial this value is x1 plus y1 factorial divided by x1 factorial y1 factorial multiplied by n minus x1 plus m minus y1 factorial divided by n minus x1 factorial into m minus y1 factorial. 
a similar generalization for this one just replace x1 with x2 and so this are minus minus now the final plus term this <laughs> would be x plus y factorial divided by x factorial y factorial into x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 factorial y2 minus y1 factorial into n plus m minus x1 x2 y minus y2 factorial divided by n minus x2 factorial divided by m minus y2 factorial basically there is number of ways to reach x into the number of ways to reach y from x into the number of ways to reach n common from y now there is a short catch in this question this term would be zero in some cases what are those cases those cases will be suppose there is a grid 4 cross 4 okay this is the starting point this is the ending point let's label the point which is closer to origin as x so suppose x is here now y can be outside of this this is because it has to be this is because it has to be farther from origin than x they can coincide as given in the question and we have without loss of generality named x as the point which is closer to origin now suppose y is here below below x then there is no possible case in which we make 8 moves and reach from x to y so or basically y is here then also so basically y has to be towards the right of x and towards the and towards the upside of x so it can be here, it can be here, it can be here. It can be on the horizontal axis and it can be on the vertical axis. But it can be below this. So basically if this is the origin, then with respect to x, any coordinate of y cannot be negative. y has to be in the first quadrant or on the coordinate axis. Otherwise this term becomes 0. So I guess you understood the explanation. Let us move on to the code. Okay. So in this we need as the number of ways would be very large we need to take a modulus and in order to compute everything in O one time because there are a large number of test cases so, uh, I can show you the question the test cases were of the order of 10 raised to power 5 and n number the order of 10 raised to 5 so we need to take a mod and we need to pre-compute some things so the maximum sum of n plus n can be 10 raised to 5. So pre-compute factorials till 2 into 10 raised to 5 and the inverse factorials of till 2 into 10 raised to 5. So power function, we define a fast power function which powers a comma b, a raised to b in log n time. Then we compute, then we make a find way function which basically uh, takes n as the number of writes we need to take m as the number of ups we need to take and then returns right plus of factorial divided by right factorial divided by of factorial which is basically the formula I discussed in the explanation this is the initialize function we call it before calling the number of test cases this fills the factorial table and the inverse factorial table with the respective values of mod inverse basically inverse factorial of i is mod inverse of factorial of i and mod inverse is power of factor of i comma mod minus 2 now we take the number of test cases we take in nm we take in x5 x1 y1 x2 y2 and we initialize first result with the total number of ways in which we can reach n comma n then this all deals with this part deals with the case that we assign x without loss of generality to the number which is closer to the origin out of the two points x1 y1 x2 y2 we assign x to the point which is closer to the origin we initialize result 1 as the number of ways to reach x1 y1 and then to reach n comma m from x1 y1 we initialize result 2 as the number of ways to reach x2 y2 and then reach n comma m from x2 y2 and if 
this subtraction becomes negative we just take a plus mod and now if y1 is greater than y2 that means the y point the case that I discussed that in which the positive term end point to reach first x then y and then n comma m becomes 0 so this is that case we just see out result otherwise we compute the last term which is find way till x com x1 y1 then from x1 y1 to x2 y2 then from x2 y2 to nm and then we finally print out the result so i hope you understood this question uh, if you have any doubts requests or you want anything just leave them in the comment section please do like share and subscribe and keep coming back from more such tutorials thank you so much